Hello, hello, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, everybody watching this program. Welcome back, welcome back. I'm back again with this uh, man named Hamadidat. He died a long time ago. But since he raised his foot again at the Bible, uh, we are going to knock his grave. Knock the grave of wicked men and bring their work into light. That is my job. And I was born for that reason, exposing the lies and the deceptions of the children of Allah and uh, atheists or whoever rises up against the word of God. Now, uh, this is a question. Did Jesus lose Judas Iscariot? Do you guys believe that Jesus lost J Judas Iscariot or not? What is the Bible? What? How do you understand the Bible? What is the meaning of um, you know, when Jesus says something in the Bible and what is it alluded to or what is the spiritual explanation of that thing. But let's listen from this idiot man, Ahmed Didat, and I'm going to explain about him. Let's listen. John 18, 9. I'm quoting. That the saying might be fulfilled. History to wounded Israeli soldiers. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now the Quran gives us a test. How are we to know whether it is from God or not? It gives us a test. In Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse 82, it says, Afalai the Dabarun al Quran, do they not consider the Quran with care? Don't you see? When the Quran in the Hayd Allah, had it been from anyone other than Allah, the Washadu fi hit the Lab al you would have found in it many discrepancies. You guys, you know, you have been watching Brother Christian Prince. How many discrepancies are there in the Quran? How many contradictions are there uh, in the Quran? How many meaningless jargons are there in the Quran? How? Please explain. Please write down. Please comment on this area. So that the Muslims will know that this is, their book is nothing but a lie and a fabrication. Because the Quran is full of contradiction, inconsistency, and scientific errors, and a whole lot of things. But they boast about it. And the Quran says, if you can do it, tweet, show us. Okay. Contradiction. This is a test which we have to apply to any book claiming to be God. See whether it is consistent with itself or there are full of contradictions. I will only give you one. Yes, he has one about the Bible. He has one. He has one. And I'm reading from the New Testament. John chapter 18, verse 9. John 18, 9. I'm quoting, that the saying might be fulfilled, which he spoke, that the saying might be fulfilled, which he spoke, of those, in inverted commas, of those whom you gave me, I have lost none, close of inverted commas, of those whom you gave me, I have lost none, none means not one, not a single one, who says that, Jesus. So, how do you know? It's an inverted promise. Ask any Christian preacher and he'll tell you these are the words of Jesus. And in the Bible that's given to me, Brother Shorosh, thank you very much. This is called a red letter Bible. A red letter meaning every word that Jesus spoke is in red. So very easy, very easy to find out whether Jesus spoke these words or not. You open John chapter 8, 18 verse 9 and it says it is in red. Which means these are the words of Jesus. Okay, so the point is, um, he's making is uh, because Jesus said, let's go, let's go to the point. Let's go to the Bible and then find out. The Gospel of John chapter 18, uh, verse 9 and 10. Okay, let's go. And Jesus answered, I have told you that I am he. Therefore, you seek me, let this go their way. He's telling to the, to the, uh, people who came to capture Jesus. Uh, sent by the uh, uh, by the high priestess and the priestess, that the saying might be fulfilled, which he spoke of them, which uh, thou givest me, have I lost none? Have I lost none? So this is the saying of Jesus. I lost none of them. It's, it was uh, it was uh, there was a saying. Now let's find where is the saying. Where is the saying found? Why? Jesus said that, and where is it found? Now, if you go to John uh, 16, 
39. This is now like how many chapters? This is, uh, this is 18, like uh, about, uh, uh, about 13 chapters before. Is uh, at the beginning of the ministry of Jesus Christ. He said this. And this is the Father's will which has sent me, that of all which he has given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again in the last day. This is what he said. Whoever the Lord God gave me, none of them I will lose. I will lose none of them, but I will raise them up. This is a promise he told to the disciples, to the followers, that whosoever is chosen by God and elected, decided to follow God, he will lose his soul. No, no, he will not lose, or rather, he will not lose his soul, or she will not lose her soul by any means. Nothing will separate her, him, from the love of Jesus, from the love of God through Jesus Christ. This is what he is saying. And then we, we can find it in the book of Romans, chapter 8, chapter 8. Um, the book of Romans, chapter 8. Whoever comes to Jesus, uh, 38 maybe, yeah, maybe, 838. Um, now, 35, let's go to 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or pearl or a sword? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as a sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor hate, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen to it. Amen. Amen. Amen to it. No angel. No Jibril. <laughs> no, no, no. No Jibril. A lying Jibril. No false prophet. Muhammad. Nobody will separate us from the love of Jesus, from the love of God through Jesus Christ. Nobody will separate us. Read it, please, again and again and then again and again. This is a firm foundation. This is a firm foundation. A firm foundation that God has, God, the God of heaven promised us. Nobody, no principality for no, what is that? Death cannot separate us. Life no, no, in this world, in this life, nothing will, angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present or things to come, wh whatever happens will not separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. That is what Jesus is telling them. Whoever comes to me, I will raise him in the last day. I will raise her in the last day. I lose none of them. No. I didn't lose none. I lost none of them of the, the that was chosen, chosen and given by the Father. Given by the Father. These are the true, if anybody is a true child of God, nothing will separate him or her. Pertaining to this, because this man, he did not read. Now, he read on John 18, verse uh, 9, uh, verse, verse 10, verse 9. What about John, John, John 17, 21? A, a, a chapter before. A chapter before. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou givest to me, I have kept. And none of them is lost. None of them is lost. But the son of perdition. The son of perdition. What is the son of perdition? The devil. The son of the devil. Who is that? Iscariot Judas, Judah, Judah was not a true man. He was a thief. Judah was a thief. A thief. A true Christian will never steal from the Lord. He is a thief. There are so many. You, you remember this one? If you, uh, I mean, if you are Christian, if you read the Bible, uh, and, 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 and we read, uh, um, um, and, and second Timothy chapter two, uh, verse 20. A lot, in a large house, 
con uh, what is that? Uh, let me go to King James. But in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold. There are what? In a great house, this is a, a, as a parable. He is using a parable to teach us. In a big house, there are uh, vessels of gold and of silver for honor, but also of wood and of earth. There are vessels of earth, useless, useless. Some to honor and some to dishonor, to shame. So the true believers are, of, you know, silvers and gold. And the false believers are the, this, 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 you know, the earth. These, these are nothing. They are not useful for glory. They are for dishonor. Iscariot Judah was a, one of the vessel of shame and destruction. Judas was a thief. You can find it. Now, the evangelist comment in John, John 12, 5 and 6, Judah spoke fine words about giving money to the poor. He said, oh, why you just buy to Jesus, uh, you know, this uh, uh, costly thing? It should have been to the poor. What did he say? <laughs> he, he looked like a true Christian. The sky is Judah. Judas. What did he say? When the woman brought the, 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 the you know, gift to, to uh, Jesus, what did he say? Why you spent all this money? It could have been to the poor. <laughs> the poor. But he really was not that cared for the poor, but that he was a thief and had the money in the box. In the box. He kept the money in the box because he was a treasurer and he took the, steal the money. But when he say, oh, I stand for the poor. For the poor. <laughs> Why not for the poor? There are in the church today who use, you know, the poor, uh, you know, and other things to, to steal the money. There are. Because remember, Jesus said, whosoever shall call me Lord, Lord, Lord. We have done this. We have done miracle. We have done cast out demon in your name. And I will tell them, I knew not. I don't know you. I don't know you. The day will come. I will tell them. So the Scariot Judah was not one of the elected, the elected to the chosen by God for the kingdom. He was the son of what? Tradition. This is what Jesus said a, a, a chapter ago, a chapter ago, 18, 18, this, this one, this, this, this idiot man, he did not read it. He did not read it. This man, this idiot man, he did not read it. He spoke. <laughs> Of those in inverted commas, of those whom you gave me, I have lost none. I so, have lost none. I am a grammar. I know grammar. I know English. None means nobody. Yes, Jesus lost none. He lost all. Who is lost? The lost is a thief. The lost is Judas Iscariot who's, who betrayed Jesus. So he wants us to ju justify he, he sold Jesus and then now he, uh, he wants him to be counted like one of the righteous? No! It can never be. It can never be. But those, the disciples, the true disciples, they were protected by God. Nobody killed them. Nobody destroyed them. In all, all that troubles, persecution, and whatever happened at that time, that time, nothing happened to them. Because of the protection of God. And then he said even a while ago, but this man did not read it. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that have given us to me, I have kept. And none of them is lost. But the son of perdition, he cannot go and read it. He cannot go by one chapter and read what Jesus means. The son of perdition, I did not lose it. Because he was uh, destined for destruction. That the scriptures might be fulfilled. Did Jesus lose Judas Iscariot? No. 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 Because the Bible says. Uh -huh, the Bible says. Uh, he is one of. One of the. He, he is a devil. Jesus said. Okay. Let me, let me give you another verse. One. One concrete verse. Which is. Which is. Very, very, very uh, important verse. One of you is the, the devil. What is that? One of you is the devil. Well, who said that? Jesus. 
And uh, that's that's in John, the, the Gospel of John, chapter 6, verse 17. Jesus told them, Jesus answered them, Did I not choose you, choose you, the twelve? And yet one of you is a devil. The devil? Yes. He's a devil. He's a thief. He's a messenger of the devil who came to Jesus and uh, do the work of the devil. So Jesus did not lose any of them. But this one was lost because he did not belong to the, uh, to the kingdom of God. He was the children of the devil, the Satan, evil, the evil, and he went to his place. He went to his place. Jesus did not lose him. The son of perdition was lost. Why? Because he was lost from the first. He just came to steal and to, 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 to trick people in the middle of the kingdom of God. He was a vessel of dishonor. Shem. And there are so when we are in, when we call ourselves Christian, we have to be careful. We have to be careful because whoever call himself a Christian is not a Christian, but who abides by the word of Christ, who abides the, by the guided by the Holy Spirit, and day to day pray to God and have communication with Him. He is a true. Son of God, she is a true daughter of God. They are the true people of God. But the rest, they are vessel of dishonor and destruction. The certain, a son, uh, sons of doubt and daughters of perdition. The sons of the devil. And then the devil, the devil. So, oh, man, I lost the nun. He doesn't understand even what the Bible is saying. The Quran, the Quran is full of contradiction. The Quran is uh, the book of curse. And with wickedness. I thank you for watching and listening. May the Lord richly bless you. If you have any question, you have the right to ask and and uh, you know comment and say whatever you feel. Uh, it's my pleasure to serve you. And uh, please pray for me. And please, uh, please, please like, share, comment, and subscribe uh, so that it encourages me so that I can produce more videos and debunk these liars and deceivers and knock the graves of uh, these wicked uh, soothsayers. Amen. Jesus is Lord yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. See you. Bye-bye.